Welcome back guys. This week we're going to be working on this birthday cake. So you can use oil pastels or crayons for this. Either one will work. Oil pastels are a little bit messy so if you'd like to stay clean, crayons are going to be your best bet. So stay tuned for the other supplies. Okay, so for this project you will need a few different types of materials. Now I have some oil pastels here just because that's what I have, um, but if you have crayons, crayons will work perfectly with this. Um, you can use any other materials, but I think crayons and oil pastels will look the best with this. Okay, so you're also going to need a few different types of pieces of paper. Now, you don't need to have a black paper. I just like the way it looks with the black paper. So you'll need one piece of black paper, a half sheet of white paper, a half sheet of any type of color paper, and a smaller gray piece of paper. Or if you've got tin foil, you can use tin foil with this. I unfortunately don't have any tin foil with me right now. Um, but this will be the platter or the plate that your cake sits on. So if you have foil, be my guest. Go for it. Cut out a piece of paper um, in the shape of an oval or a circle and then go ahead and glue that shape on with your foil. So let's go ahead and get started with the drawing first. Now I really, I'm not going to fast forward through this part because I want you guys to follow along so that way you don't get lost. Um, and I want you guys to be able to do, do your very best with this drawing. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a pencil first just in case you make a mistake. And I've got my handy dandy eraser. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start by drawing a very wide and flat oval shape. So this is what I mean. Okay, so that is going to be the top of my cake. Now I'm going to draw the bottom part of my cake. So I'm just drawing two lines here on the side. And then I will be using a curved line down at the bottom to connect my bottom line. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw two parallel lines right here in the middle. This is where our slice is going to be. One, two. And then I'm going to draw a triangle, almost like I'm drawing a house. Then I'm going to draw another triangle right here in the middle. Just like that. Then I'm going to draw a line straight up to the top of my top triangle. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my eraser and I'm going to erase that bottom line. And then I'm going to erase this middle line here. And now I have my cake with a slice missing. So if I want my cake to have layers, I can draw some diagonal lines. So the, you're going to want to follow the slant here. So the easiest way to do this is to take another piece of paper. Okay. And I'm going to line it up with that bottom line here. And then I'm just going to move it up to where I want my cake layer to be. See that? I can do that to the other side. Okay, now I could just draw another line right on top of that. And if you want your cake to have more than one layer, you would just repeat that step. So I redrew my cake on the other side because I wanted it to be a little bit taller than that, so I used up a little bit more of my paper. Now this step's optional of course, but if you want you can add some frosting designs um, if you like all the way around the rim of your cake or at the bottom, um, but that's completely up to you, you don't have to do that. But I'm for just example's sake, I'm going to go ahead and do that, I'm going to draw a little, little teardrop shapes, or they can be little circles. Thank you. 
And now that I've got my designs done, it's time for me to start coloring. So, something to understand about your cake is that one side is going to be a little bit darker than the other side. This is what we call tinting and toning. So over here on this side, we're gonna pretend that there's a light coming from this side. So here, all of my colors are gonna be lighter and brighter, and over here, it's going to be more shadowy. So I can mark really lightly with an X where I know my shadows are gonna go. So my shadows are gonna go on this half of my cake slice and this half of my cake. Okay, now you can add some shadows up here at the top, which you'll see as I go along. Um, but it's completely up to you. Your colors can be any kind of color you'd like. They don't have to be the same as mine. I, mean, I think I'm going to do a pink cake, um, but you can do green, blue, yellow, your favorite color. Your imagination is your world. So, I mean, go for it. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and start coloring. Now, I, I am going to fast forward through this part um, just so that way it doesn't take so long. Now, after you get your coloring done, what you're going to do is you can take a pair of scissors and you're going to cut out your cake shape from your white paper. Alright, now I've got my cake shape cut out. I'm going to take my small paper where I want to draw my plate for my cake. And just using a pencil, I'm going to draw a very wide oval, just like the way I did for the top of my cake. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut that out with my scissors. Now I have my plate. And I can very easily just kind of make like another circle around there if I want to. Maybe I want to add some little shine to my plate with a white crayon or a pastel. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to glue everything together. So let me start first with my background, Let's shake off all that extra. And I'm going to glue my background about right there. I want to leave a little bit of black paper right underneath. So let me go ahead and And there we go. Now I can go back in and add some shadows right here where my cake is supposed to be. So I'm going to do some black shadows just right here. Really light. I'm going to take my white pastel and kind of blend that out. shadows to go all the way under on this side. And there we go. So now we have our finished 
cake. And you can color this however you like. And there you go. You can give this as a birthday card or a gift. It's up to you. So I cannot wait to see what you guys create and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.